Um, I didn't record anything on the weekend because I was so busy. And I have a job interview today, so I thought, why not make another Get Ready With Me video? Last night, to give my skin something a little extra extra, I used this Fresh Gore sleeping pack from two cool for schools that I got over the weekend. And now I'm using um, my Etsy Tiles toner that I talk about all the freaking time. And then I'm going to use the Misha for Men First Treatment Essence, which is basically the SK2, which is basically a dupe for the SK2 Essence. I'm going to moisturize my skin with the Snail Solution 70 Cream from Nature Republic that I reviewed already on my channel. And then for my sun protection, I'm going to use the All Around Safe Black Essence Sun SPF 45 from Misha. This is my favorite sunscreen because it doesn't dry my makeup as much by the end of the day compared to all those other sunscreens. The job I'm applying for is like the same job that I have now, but just at a bay, army base that's closer to me. So I'm pretty sure I got that shit in the bag. If I keep doing this, it's because I got this new microphone for my um, camera that I'm testing and like they put it they put the attachment thing on like the stupidest place because right now the microphone's like literally smack in the middle of the viewfinder so I have to like to see that I'm in focus I don't know okay after I let that set for a little bit I'm gonna go into my foundation just for shits and giggles I'm gonna use a primer today I like rarely use this um just for like special occasions. The one I'm going to use is the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless 12 Hour Brightening Primer. I think I've shown this in like in my foundation. No, I didn't. I don't think I ever used it on camera. I think I did show it in my um, DIY cushion makeup video. I do notice that this sheesh makes um, makeup last longer. Definitely doesn't prevent oil breakthrough because it's um has that brightening sort of thing to it so by the end of the day my makeup is glowing rather than matte. For my foundation I've been doing this a lot. I've been mixing my Royal Honey Glow Foundation from Skin Food with um, either my Vichy Derma Blend or my Bourjois One Two Three Perfect CC Cream which is like my favorite because the coverage is super high but it's really really thin and natural looking and the color is actually like proper for my skin um, so I'm gonna mix um, this with the bourgeois CC cream I'm gonna mix the two that's basically what I use for my whole face and I'm gonna apply it with this um, foundation brush from Innisfree, and then I'm gonna blend it with um, another brush from Real Techniques. So I load the brush up a little bit, and then I basically just put it where I wanna put it, which would be the reddish areas of my face. Around here, mainly the center, and then the center of my forehead. Let's put some under the eyes. And other than the nose in the middle of the chin. And I'm gonna blend it out with the expert face expert for the expert face brush for um real techniques. I'm really excited because I just washed these brushes last night. And usually I don't brush up and wash them that often. I kind of just spray them down with rubbing alcohol and wipe it off on like a paper towel 
but the feeling of a freshly washed brush is just uncomparable. How does it look? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to conceal any um, spots or blemishes with uh, Vichy Derma Blend and a small concealer brush. A little bit on the back of my hand and then I um, load it up on the brush and make sure it's like really ingrained in the brush. And I spot conceal. I learned this technique from Lisa Eldridge, who's like my favorite makeup artist. And then I let it sit there for a little bit, so that it um, sets a little bit and then I'll blend it because usually if I just put it on and blend it immediately then it just wipes off. And this is actually it's a matte foundation, so me putting a little bit on top of the really moisturizing, um, moist products that I used earlier, it makes it look more natural because I hate the look of like dry, cracked, cakey skin that a lot of long wearing, matte, foundation, whatever concealers give. Next, I'm gonna load up my brush with the Innisfree No Seba Mineral Powder, which is basically a dupe for the. Makeup Forever HD powder. So I loaded it up on this brush. And I'm usually, usually I would just keep it this way, but because I've been um, contouring my nose every day lately, um, I have to powder my nose so that the contour powder goes on smoother. So I just set the, my nose, the center of my forehead, my eyelids, and my under eyes. Maybe there. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next with the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I do have a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows with this product. Up on my channel a few videos back, or I can link it here somewhere. And then I'm gonna run a bit of this, I don't even know because it's completely rubbed off. It's like this um, eyebrow mascara from the face shop. Next, I'm gonna contour my nose, yay! With my two Cool for School Art Class by Ronin, which is like my favorite thing recently. So I'm gonna take these two shades two shades and use that for this area connecting my eyebrow whatever to my nose and I like the way this looks when this part is like very deep set at the end I have to like look at myself in daylight because sometimes I get a little crazy because the lighting in my room is a little different from outside so um, the light outside is much harsher and sometimes I like way overdo it and it looks like I have a brown nose. And then I'm going to take the two lighter shades and contour my nose. If you watched my one video, get ready with me, my last get ready with me video, I like put a ton of product on the brush and when I'm doing the tip of my nose, it falls like on my upper lip and it looks like I have like on my upper lip. And to clean that up, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer that I put on the back of my hand, the Vichy one, load it on the same brush I used for concealing, and then I'm going to clean up the center and also highlight. This really makes my nose pow really snatched my nose.
And then I'm going to take a shimmering, um, what is highlighter? Light, that's Lights paid from MAC. And just put that on the tip of my nose. See, I didn't do this in my review video for this. So I've just refined my technique much better. And then blend everything, I don't know. I feel like the nose contour is taking the longest. Didn't make a difference. Can you see the snatched nose? We'll have to see when we walk outside. Just for shits and giggles, I don't really need to do this. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this lip tint from Anis Free that I showed in my last Get Ready With Me. And I found like this interesting way to apply it. You like do this and you run it like right there. Like on like the inside. See, so yeah, this really this look. It's like a grading, I guess. It's like coming from I don't know what I'm doing. I saw it on some like Korean models, and they had like dry ass looking lips, but like the inside was like just really pretty pink. It's probably their natural look color, but whatever. Okay, so I'm done. Um. I hope you found that interesting or something and let me know if you like enjoy these kinds of videos and uh wish me luck on my interview. Uh even though I know I got like shit in my bag. See you in my next video, bye bye.